allow us to introduce ourselves. I'm Dr. T.H. Culhane for Envisage Mercy, the Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club. I'm Matthew Benson, also for the Envisage Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club. As am I, my name is Jared Zakari. And behind the camera? Hi. Hi, Faith. <laughs> so, Faith Marie Rodriguez. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> we, are, um, we are here inventing, as we often do, a new type of solar hot water system that is low cost and easy for the do-it-yourself community around the world, particularly for low-income communities. Uh, we work with Solar Cities, Connecting Community Catalysts, Integrating Technologies for Industrial Ecology Solutions. We love acronyms. Uh, this one was suggested when we, last year's same class, Psychology 295, Envisage, built our first vacuum tube solar hot water system. And we brought it up to Kathy Puffers from Tower Gardens, who gave us our vertical aeroponics uh, lecture, and then from whom we bought our Tower Gardens here for Mercy, for soilless gardening. And we were experimenting with using it to heat her biodigester, but it was a bit complex with all the tubes and it tended to leak. So she had a suggestion after a permaculture course that we might try to do what people in the hydroponics community do and use these PVC fence posts. So I went promptly down to Home Depot with a couple of the students and we purchased a fence post. This is the four inch. They're also six inch, which would probably be better because it would store more water. But we started conservative. It was about $7 and change plus the caps, which are about two bucks each. About $10, we have this fence post with these caps, which um, have this, uh, this beveled kind of look to it, which is just the right size for a half inch uniseal, which is what we're putting in here. And then we've got our pipes with our valves, half inch. If you look over on this side and you open it up, you'll see that what we've done is we've taken these vacuum tubes. We get, uh, uh, for $100, we get 10 in a box from a uh, electric bike company on the West Coast. They ship them out uh, $10 a tube when you buy the, the 10, otherwise they're more expensive. And we've got these uniseals. If you go down here, you can see um, these are the two inch uniseals that we have um, from US Plastics or from AussieGlobe.com. And then it just so happens that the two inch uniseal is exactly the right size for the vacuum tubes. And we shove them in until they come just above the top of the rubber in the uniseal. And we're able to fit all 10 in a standard fence post. So it's almost as if it was designed for that. Now, what we're doing here, we put the cold water inlet on the bottom angle of the one side and with the half inch tube. And you'd hook your garden hose here and you've got your valve here so you could open it up. And that would let the cold water in low. Now, if we back up a little bit here, the cold water will then flow through the bottom part and drop down into these tubes. These are hollow vacuum tubes until it fills them up with water. So you'd fill this up and continue filling until the whole thing was filled with cold water, having this part, this valve here, closed. Now, this is the hot water out, and it's the topmost part because that's where hot water will go. Hot water rises and cold water falls. Once this is all filled with water, and once we glue these, it will be watertight, and this is above that, you've got this ability then to sit this in the sun, and we'll build a stand for it, so that the sun's light, which we just proved today, didn't we? Even on a really cold day, the sun's light will be transformed into infrared radiation as it hits the uh, metal black surface here, and will transmit that heat to the water inside, so that the cold water in the back will be heated in the front and will begin to rise, pulling more cold water down the back. And you'll get this thermosiphon loop as cold water falls down the back, hits the sunlight, heats up the front, goes in. This whole thing will start to fill up with hot water. And at that point, you would then run more cold water in here at a slow trickle rate, and then it will push the hot water out and up, and then this will go in a hose down to your shower, to your biodigester. You can run a circulation pump to also to do this, to continuously run a small trickle of cold water through, which will fall through, and the cold will always fall down the back of the tube, and the hot water will always rise. It'll be a very efficient solar hot water system at probably the lowest cost, because 10 uniseals are about $2.50 a piece, say 25 bucks, with shipping another five, so 30 bucks for these uniseals. These are just about a buck a piece. So 30, 35 bucks for that, about 10 bucks for this, that's... Uh, 45, say 50 bucks once you have, or maybe 55 with the valves, and then you've got 100 here. So anywhere between 155 to 175 dollars, you have yourself functioning solar hot water system designed and built by Envisage Mercy.